Welcome to Mastermind Minutes, the podcast that focuses on the franchise industry. We'll cover topics that are important to franchisees as well as franchisors and share interesting insights that will help you build your business. We have one guest, we ask one question, and we do this in minutes, not hours. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Mastermind Minutes. My name is Gary Okiogrosso. As you know, I am the founder of Franchise Growth Solutions and the publisher of FranchiseMoneyMaker.com. Mastermind Minutes, which has now been running four consecutive years, is a very simple podcast. We have one guest, we ask one question, and we get one expert answer. We do it in minutes, not hours. And while we realize that's probably not enough time to give you a lot of information, we'll give you the contact information of our guests so that if you feel uh, compelled to reach out and if you have more questions, uh, then uh, we invite you to do that. And today, uh, I'm honored to have uh, a guest, uh, Fabio Viviani, uh, who has been in the restaurant business uh, literally his entire <laughs> life. He started in a in a bakery when he was around 11 years old. Uh, and he, as you know, is a celebrity chef, a hospitality developer, uh, a restaurant tour, a best-selling cookbook author, TV host, and former fan favorite, where I got to know him, and probably most of us got to know him, uh, on Top Chef. Uh, back in 2021, he launched a dessert concept called Jars that he's now turned into a successful emerging franchise brand. And uh, he'll tell us about that, and uh, we'll uh, we'll find out more about him in, uh, in just a minute as we go into the question. Uh, but Fabio, first of all, thank you very much for being with us today. I appreciate it. And, I appreciate uh, you. I appreciate you inviting me. Oh, my pleasure. And be and before we get to the question, tell us a little bit about more more about what you're doing now, and you know about yes. jars and uh, what it is. You did a great job explaining that, so not left for me to say much. But um, <laughs> Fabio Viviani, I I am a I'm a chef. I'm a restaurateur. I'm a hospitality developer. My company, Fabio Viviani Hospitality, owns and operates um, several dozens of establishments of all kinds of type and concept and size and price point uh, across the United States, full service, hotel, entertainment venue, entertainment districts. And the latest venture we embarked on, it's called JARS by Fabio Viviani, which is a QSR concept that is aimed to be the easiest, most profitable and, and ease of operation uh, QSR concept in the United States. And I'm not taking that lightly. I'm not saying that lightly. Um, the business model that we created enable operators, franchisee, to have minimal entry fee, um, no labor expertise, labor require, very minimal labor too. There is, in fact, no cooking, no recipes, really no, no expertise needed. Everything is carefully and with very high standard of quality, co-packed by our national distributions. Um, so basically it's a, it's a turn on concept that allows both educated operator to finally have a break and uneducated operator to get into the food business with the ease, ease of mind, let's say. Okay, well that that's, the, that's, that's the, the juice of it. All right, well that's, that's ab actually uh, a lot of what we practice in franchising. I mean, we are probably the foremost franchise development organization in North America, maybe in the world, but certainly in North America. So what we look at is exactly the things you talked about. Simplicity <laughs> of operation, low cost of entry, profitability. Can I duplicate this? You know, if you can only own one, you know, before the program, I was telling you about how I also grew up sort of in the bakery business. And what I remember about my dad and my uncles was, to a certain extent, they didn't really have a business. They had a job. They had to go there every day and they had to work 12 hours a day, seven days a week. And franchising, as you mentioned, when done properly, really sets the operator up in a system where they can duplicate that process as long as there's simplicity of operation yeah. and duplication. So but that's that's, but uh, that's, that's, that's beautiful. That's traditional, that's traditional restaurant business, if you think about it, right? Everybody plays with the players. I like the player, but I understand the game. And once you understand the game, you can create systems around the games that makes the player uh, not work less because every business is hard work, but work smarter, not just hard. 
Correct. You know, a lot, a lot of people in our business are busy just because they're busy, <laughs> but are they really productive? Correct. That, that is a, that's the question. We created a system that makes you both busy and productive without expertise required, again, without a lot of capital. I mean, we can flip we can flip a second generation space, a QSR, into a jar for probably less than a hundred grand. Uh, realistically speaking, if you if you were to franchise jar tomorrow, then you find a out of business bakery or a yogurt shop or a ice cream parlor or something like that, which there's plenty out there. You can, you know, the, the, our kitchen appliance equipment the package is like less than seventy thousand dollars. Right, right, yeah. And the rest is and the rest is ran by technology. So we really created the perfect storm. Well, I, I think that's great because, again, in addition to simplicity of operation, low cost of entry is important. And you said something that I, the way I phrase it is understanding the difference between the work of the business, which is for the employees, and yeah. the business, which is for the owner. The owner is supposed to promote the business, bring yeah. business in, get involved in the community. So last question about jars, then we'll get into our real Please. question. Uh, are there any in, in the New York City area where I am? So not yet. We have uh, we have interest for the New York City area. We have several application in. Uh, we are vetting our franchisee. This is not gonna be a business with a million doors like a Starbucks or a or a or a crumble cookie. Uh, this is more like we like to work with a handful of selected operators and expand territory in a very. Um, in a very good way for them, right? I have no interest in selling the one and two units because I, I'm in the wealth building business and I'm in the legacy business. So I like to work with you that have more than having, you know, thousands of franchisees out there and, and not be able to focus on franchisee success. Yep. Franchisee success and store profitability are the key driver of jars for me, at least personally, and for my entire company. Well, I think that's great. I will tell you, you're preaching to the choir because we absolutely are completely joined at the hip with that philosophy. It's all about yeah. location. It's all about legacy, generational wealth. And if the operator chooses, it's all about that higher multiple at exit. Yeah. Which again, when we do private equity placement, that's that's what we look for. Okay. So we've been talking about jars and sort of the simplicity of operation, which sort of ties into our question. And that is in the restaurant business, we always hear, although I think if you if you have the right tone. It's it's not that much of a challenge, but we always hear the challenge of labor. So as somebody who's been in the restaurant business essentially all your life, what advice can you give to the audience, people who are in the restaurant business on how to manage labor if you're struggling with labor shortages? I mean, we all know, but, you know, the advice that you would give in building a team that you're going to retain, that's going to do the right job and really create a guest experience that's going to keep customers coming back over and over again. Well, the short advice I can give you is to everybody's brace for impact. Like, <laughs> like they tell you on a plane when the plane is about to go down. Um, but, but there is more to it. Uh, the, the reason you survive the impact is because there are process and procedure. There is trained personnel and everybody work at the unison, right? Um, restaurant business is a, is a band. It's not a solo player. And uh, it's impossible, no matter who you are. It's impossible to find every single employee that you have to be motivated, diligent, clean, organized, and precise on time and all that. So once you find those, you have to pay them extremely well to retain that. And that positive influence will impact everyone else on the team, as well as creating strategic process and procedure that teaches the game to whoever player is playing. Right, you can be lucky and hire the Ronaldos, the you know the Rolling Stones or the Serena Williams of the world, but what what's the reality of that? Mm -hmm. Right, how often can you find those unicorns that you know they they do everything the way that they're supposed to? So I've learned that a good system can make the average person achieve outstanding results. And that's what we built at Jars. I mean, we have a few stores open right now. And even in my own store, our general manager now 
is a person that seven, eight months ago never stepped foot in a restaurant, never stepped foot in a bakery, in a restaurant business, none, none of that. Guy never had a job uh, in the industry and now is a store manager, not because we're reckless, but because we created a system that makes that very achievable for anyone as long as you're motivated. Now, I don't have a system to make you show up on time and I don't have a system to make you be smart, but we have a system that makes your average education in the business still able to perform. And as long as you have good morals and you can show up on time with the way that jars is set up, you can, you can, you can 100% manage it. Yep. Now, in general, for restaurant business, again, I would say two things. Pay the good player extremely well so you don't lose those, and that's your backbone. And, you know, sometimes you can have a cracked ribs and still breathe. You see what I mean? Um, but, but your spina, your, your, your backbone has got to be solid. Um, and, and once you have those few players, build a system around them. Yep. Cross, tra- cross training is big for us. You know, when there is a lot of people that says, oh, my God, if my pers- this person leaves, we're screwed. You got to work on building three more of those, right? Yeah. I, that's, I, that's, a, I that's, a philosophical, that's a philosophical challenge that everybody in this industry has. No, I, I, I agree. And again, you know, it's interesting. You talk about training and knowledge. I, I do a seminar and the sort of the internal t- the title of it is called knowledge. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is bullshit. The execution of knowledge is power. So when you talk about whether True. or not someone's going to execute and follow the, follow the system, that that's really the key. But I think maybe more important to your point uh, is really what you look for when you have someone in front of you or when you have an open position or you're looking to upgrade your your team member staff. And just real quick, for those of you who've just joined us, uh, you know, we're, we're having a conversation with Fabio Viviani, who most of us know from uh, Top Chef and has launched a franchise brand called Jars. We're talking about labor and some of the struggles. So, so Fabio, when you have someone sitting in front of you and you're thinking about whether or not you're going to bring this person on board, I realize skill is important, but tell me your point of view on qualities of the individual. What are you really looking at when you want to bring someone on board onto your team? It's impossible this day. And I'm really good. <laughs> I'm, no, guy, honestly, listen, I, 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 I would love to tell you that there is a formula for good hiring, but there isn't, you know, um, with, and, and with the technology, the AI um, the copywriting, it's, it's becoming please, increasingly easier to bullshit your way through getting hired. <laughs> and, uh, and, well the said. Is that, <laughs> and the reality is that I have, a, I have a modus operandi, which basically sum up in hire fast, fire faster. Yeah, yeah, Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, um, I saw this great piece that he did about like hiring quick, but it's sort of by chance, but firing, you're in control, you know, fire quick. If it's not working, don't let that, because that can become almost like a disease, like a cancer, and it spreads. I will hire, I will hire likely 99% of the people that apply with me for a job that they have basic qualification for. But I would say that the majority of those people won't last two weeks in our corporation, not because we're hard to deal with, but because we're quick at figuring out if you can back the swag or if it's just a bunch of paper wrap out there. Yeah, yeah, and I and I agree. And if you give people the training and you let them do their job and you hold them accountable, if they don't step up, if they don't live up to it, then there's no reason to keep them on uh, on the staff. What um you know what are some of the the challenges that you faced? Maybe you could tell a story, no names named, about a challenging team member and how you manage to either what I use the term coach them back in or coach them out. Maybe you have a story you can share with the audience. Well, you know, a perfect example with jars, both one of our executive great guy, great friend of mine, wasn't a good fit for the concept. And we ended up part ways because not everybody's fit for the job. Jars very first store manager. We hire this person uh, this person was great on paper, said all the right things, seemed motivated, 
when we actually got to open the store, this person was not good, was simply not delivering a lot of excuses, a lot of personal doubt, a lot of inability to fulfill the role that she signed up for it. And literally we 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 part ways three days before the grand opening of the of the place. Wow. You know, wow. it is what it is, man. There is no, like I said, you gotta, you gotta, proof is in the pudding, right? Yeah. yeah I everybody, agree. that's why, that's why I hate the internet because everybody goes keyboard warriors, right? Mm -hmm. They're all there. They're typing their things. They're telling you things. How many people do you know that will tell you to your face the things that they write online? That's the problem, right? Yeah. I respect it. If you say something, you have to back it up. If you don't, then you're short to leave with us. Or, or you can do what my current general manager for JAR said. Hey, never done it. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm willing to work hard. I learn fast and I listen. And boy, he did. And, and, that, and that is the essence of it. And that's why, getting back to your original point about JAR's simplicity of operation is key. Because yeah. if you want to deliver, in my opinion, as a, again, as a franchise guy for 35 years, a good deal of this is delivering a high quality product consistently yeah. from location to location year after year. And the best way to do that, yes, you do need good people, but you can't put good people in a situation where it's difficult for them to achieve success. You have to put them in a situation where simplicity is the master of the operation and the system. And it sounds like that's what you've done uh, with JARS. Any um, any last sort of advice you would give to someone who is either struggling with labor or perhaps even looking for a brand to get involved with and why they should get involved with JARS? Um, uh, both of those the, things I'd love to hear yeah, about. So there is a couple of things, first of all, about the people, right? There is three kinds of people in the industry. And, and anyone you'll ever talk to as far as hiring for any position will fall into one of these three categories. There are leaders that naturally lead. Those are the people that bring the morale up. Those are the people always willing to help. Those are the people that you don't have to say things twice. You just got to train them on it and they get it. We need those. We need leaders. Then there are followers. I love followers because there is no leader without followers. Those are the people that don't like to lead. They don't have the, the, the temper. They don't have the motivation. They don't even have the patience to lead them but they are great followers. They're a great worker. This is literally 90% of America. 90% of America is absolute perfect in doing certain things in a certain way because they don't have that entrepreneurship spirit. They like their security. They like their paycheck. They like to know exactly what happened without too many curveballs. And, and those people are the most important things for a business because a leader without followers doesn't go nowhere a follower without leader eventually will lose they will lose themselves the third category are the in-betweener they don't lead they don't follow those are the one you got to get rid of as fast as possible and uh, and in order to do that you have to build a system that allow you to measure people performances and people substance jar has done that so if you want more information about it i'll be happy i'm personally actually speaking to everybody if you submit an application for JARS, all you have to do is to go to JARS by FabioViviani.com, go under franchisee, and you'll be taken to our sales team page. Fill up a form. I'll be personally talking to you and explain all the ins and outs about the business. We build a business that doesn't require experts to be operated, just require somebody that can follow a perfect system. I will put JARS system and business model against anyone out there that can prove me that their system it's easier than mine i'm gonna buy their franchisee all right that sounds like a throwdown to me <laughs> bring it <laughs> well listen you use the word system and that is the key you know you have to follow you have to have a good system follow the system and uh you know i it's been terrific you know, for those of you 
Um, we've been speaking with Fabio Viviani, who is not only celebrity chef and um, hospitality developer, uh, cookbook author, but also now the founder of an emerging franchise brand called Jars. Fabio, thank you very, very much for being with us today. Appreciate Truly you, appreciate it. I'd love to have you back on. When you open up in New York, I'm going to come down uh, and we'll we'll talk again. We'll do a live from the studio with a couple of desserts in our hands. <laughs> you, you're on. Absolutely. God bless you, man. Thank you very much. You too.